So you basically changed the business model for comics. Do you think that now all comics need to have a podcast to be relevant? I don't know if I changed the business model. I mean, it, it seems that a lot of people do podcasts for different reasons. Uh, I didn't really have any expectation. I was just trying to do something with the with the medium. But a lot of comics, you know, seem to, uh, you know, they, they build their audience. And I think we're all building our audience. But, you know, the, the podcast is generating money itself. And it's really sort of different than my comedy, but it is bringing people to my comedy. So, I, look, anyone can do a podcast. I can't guarantee it's going to do anything. But all I can tell you is that you, if you're going to do it, you should be do it consistently and enough, uh, in, enough time so people can develop a relationship with you. And don't give up. You, know, you, can't, you can't just do one like that and, and then do another one a month later and go, why the fuck are the people listening? Well, they, they don't know you're out there. That's my question, uh, too, just with doing comedy in general, because you said it took you so long to get to the point where you were happy um, yeah, with happy where your with career it. was. Uh, at what point do you give up? Can, like, should people, some people just give up? Comedy? Yeah. Or no, no one knows how. You know, it's I like know. there's so much delusion involved in pursuing the dream. And, I, I mean, you should know when you're not doing well. That's, you know, that's on you. I'm not to anyone to say don't do anything. But, I mean, don't keep doing it and repeating yourself if you're not getting the results you want. A lot of people seem to think that it happens in a vacuum. It's, you still need to get laughs from regular people. All right, cool. Anything else you want to add? <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to be harsh. No, I mean, it's fine. There's nothing easy about any of it. And uh, it's a long shot, so uh, good luck with everything. Thank you. I can ask you one more really quick question. Yeah. Why do you think that comics are drawn to new media the most? Like, you know, YouTube and Because podcasts. no one's going to do it for us anymore. There's no system in place. I mean, back in the day, you do a comedy club, they put it in the paper, uh, or they, you know, you go do a radio show, and that was enough publicity to generate uh, an attention to get people to the club. I mean, you, what are you going to do? Are you going to you going to rely on someone else to do your own promotion? I mean, the technology is available and, and reasonably priced enough to where anybody can generate their own product. So you you need to generate your own uh, publicity because the the old the old models don't work anymore. What is the comedy club going to put you on their website? How many people go to a comedy club website? Is the comedy club going to tweet you? Who cares? Are you going to be in the newspaper? I mean, all that stuff is good, but is it really going to deliver people to you? I don't know. It's really on you. That's the thing you have to accept. It's horrible. Uh, show business is not your parents.